Hey guys, it's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily here in Japan at the Omron Research and Development Center for Thorpheus, the world's best table tennis robot. So I took it on a few months ago and it went super viral, got millions of views online. It is just absolutely insane how good the robot is. So when I took it on a few months ago, it was 5.0 version and now it's 5.2. So it's going to be interesting to see how it's improved. Looking forward to it. Let's go. Ah! You can see it's so much more positive now. It hits the ball harder. Wow, ah, it's improved. Ah, hey! So guys, the racket's got no centers on it, this is my own bat, so it goes to show how good this is. Straighten. <laughs> Read the backspin so well. Keep it up. You play very well. The rally keeps going. We'll do one push, one drive. Okay, I'm going to do some different spin serves. Top spin. So notice on my two top spin serves there, Forfist misread them. However, due to its AI technology built inside the system, it's able to adapt very quickly and learn how to return the serve. As you see here, it's able to adjust straight away and know how to return the top spin serve, which is really impressive. I guys had a lot of comments online to see if the fourth robot can play against long pimple rubbers. Let's give it a go. So black side is normal, red side is long pimples. Ah. Oh! Hey! Nice! Oh! I had many comments online okay. saying the robot wouldn't be able to handle the long pimples, mm -hmm. but it has no problem. Yes. How, how come? This robot can uh, adjust mm -hmm. uh, depending on the uh, present uh, ball data. So if you uh, use uh, any uh, kinds of uh, bat, uh, this robot can modify the, uh, his strategy with the uh, current ball state. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the edge. You know, if you hit the edge, it's impossible for me to return. <laughs> no, no, no. You can teach it to do this. <laughs> Every time hit here. <laughs> yeah. And I'm back in the UK, guys. Had a fantastic time in Japan. The Omron guys are brilliant and they are doing remarkable things. I mean, the Forfist robot is just out of this world. It gets me every time, really. I don't understand how well it returns my spin shots, especially my serves. I mean, some of my serves, a lot of competitive players struggle to return who have been playing for many years, and yet Forfius with his AI technology seems to be able to adjust quickly and return my serve, so it really is incredible. So if you watched that earlier video when I played against the Forfius robot in Germany, you will know that the robot's packed with four cameras which pick up the spin on the ball and trajectory and motion and all sorts of things I'm not even sure about. But what I find fascinating is how it reads the spin. So basically the cameras literally pick up the trajectory of the ball, the Magnus effect, and also the curve and dip, 
and by that it gets a reading of the spin. It estimates how much spins on the ball due to those parameters. So it's absolutely incredible and does a damn good job at it. The Omron team also showed me another cool room that they work in, which has a table where players play against each other and there's cameras on there, motion detectors and all sorts of cool stuff which literally track the players playing against each other and then the data there feeds back to Forfis in the other room. So then Forfis can be learning new skills and new ideas on how to play via real human beings playing against each other. It's, it's pretty incredible. So the Forfis project has been set up to demonstrate harmony between man and machine. One of the ways in which it's doing that is by teaching the human on how to play. So as you can see on the screen, it gives you feedback, which is really, really cool and also adjusts the opponent's ability. So if you're playing really good level, it will get better. And if you're not playing so well, then it will go to a novice mode and it will give you feedback in real time when you're playing against it. To me, it's just mind blowing how well this robot plays. It, it's just, it's ridiculous. And um, I hope everyone gets to play against it one day. The big question is, will it ever be able to take on a professional tennis player? I think it will. Benjamin, last time in the previous video, said it would take around five years. I think it might take a bit longer. It's still got to learn the angles and also really powerful shots it sometimes struggles against. But in terms of spin, I feel like it's really cracked it and it's got a bright future ahead of it. So guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.